This is always a, a great game. I know our players really enjoy playing in this one. As coaches, we like competing. Whether it's a last second touchdown, an ending of a 33 game winning streak, or a fresh and returning a kick on the national stage, there are moments that continue to make this rivalry special. And you can expect the same thing on Saturday. It's always like that with, the, with these type of games. Uh, special teams are going to be big. And uh, just, who, it's just who wants to, who's going to make that first big play. In the past seven meetings between these two programs, the average margin of victory is seven, a possible sign of things to come. They always play a tough physical game always. It's, way, you know, it's the way it's always been. Um, it'll be that way this weekend too. The competitive games that we've had over the number of years, uh, that, that creates for an intense game every, every time you play them. The last time NDSU traveled to the Unidome, the Panthers turned around their season with a 23-3 victory. At 3-4, you and I will be looking to do the same this season. You know, that's a crowd that, that gets behind their team and they use that dome uh, for momentum and, and things like that. And so it's going to be a loud atmosphere, but it'll be fun. You can throw the records out. These two teams have fierce rivalry, great competitors. The Panthers are rolling on offense after last week's 61-7 victory over the Missouri State Bears. Led by sophomore quarterback Eli Dunn's school record 418 passing yards but he might not be the only quarterback taking snaps on Saturday. They're going to give us a little bit of both. They might give us some formations where they have both the guys on the field, so we've got to prepare for both. Um, you know, there's going to be package of packages for um, Eli. There's going to be some packages for um, the other quarterback. Ball security is always important, but it will be even higher against the tough UNI defense that ranks first in the Valley in turnovers gained. Those guys in the back end are extremely long, athletic guys that are able to use their hands and, and make plays. So we just got to find ways to, to execute consistently and, and stay on the field. The Bison will look to continue their nighttime success as they have won their last 19 games that have begun at 6 o'clock or later, with their last loss at night coming to UNI at the Unidome in 2010. Kickoff is scheduled for 6 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota, ESPN College Extra, and ESPN3. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.